Okay, this is Danny. He's my dog. He's my little family member. I love him very much. And he's been growing out all winter because he gets really cold. And so today it's getting a little warmer this this time of year. So we're going to go ahead and give him a carpet cut. So I'm going to start by showing you his face, head, and neck and ears. Try to get that all in 10 minutes and I'll come back with a part two. Maybe even part three. Okay, I'm going to take my number 10 or 15 blade, start at the corners of the eyes. Work my way forward. Also, I'm going to lift up the ear. Start at the back of the ear here. The ear canal, rather. Work my way forward. Going against the hair. All the way down his nose. And his lips and everything. Now, on a cocker, when you leave them in a cocker cut, you want to shave this area here too, shorter than the rest. So, and you leave it kind of at a V right here at the breastbone. So you'll take your clipper and you'll go up against the grain very gently because this is a very easy place to clipper burn. Make sure you spread those little neck wrinkles out if they've got them. Also make sure your blade is cool to the touch so you don't burn them. But you just go straight up against the fur. Okay. Up all the way up to the underside of the ear. I'm going to take this ear too, just like I did the, the other one, the inside of it, against the grain. Gently. Okay. I'm going to get this side here, like I did the other. This nose. Okay, now you also want to get these little, this is called a flu right here. You can see his gets stained from his saliva. So we definitely want to get it short in there. Keep it cleaner for longer. Pull that lip back. Okay, just pull it up to his chin. I'm going to get this flu over here. He doesn't have as much of a staining problem over here for some reason. I guess he doesn't drool out of the side of his face this bad. I usually make him sneeze when I do it. Yeah. Oh, here's the sneeze. I knew it would come eventually. I always make my Danny sneeze. Always. Okay. So there's his little hazel face. Okay, now I'm going to use the same blade length, but I'm going to switch my blade because it's getting warm at this point. When you do a whole face with it, it's going to get pretty warm. <laughs> so now I'm going to move to his ears, which on a cocker, you only shave the top portion of the ear and you shave it fairly short. They have a little flap on the, the front of their ear here <clears throat> that'll show you when I get his done. But you don't want to expose the entire flap because then it ends up looking a little bit funny. So what I'm going to do, since his has been growing out for quite a while, I'm going to set my pattern by going with the fur down just a short little distance. Does the infamous cocker bow. <clears throat> Cockers have a tendency to hang their head while they're getting groomed. Okay, now, I've got it where I want it, but it needs to be shorter. So I'm going to bend the ear with my thumb, my finger inside and easily go against the grain up just right to the skull. Right where your, your ear meets your top of your head. I'm just going to hang his head down. 
Okay. Now, pull it forward and gently get the back here. Now, you also want to flip it over and get the inside of the ear just as far down as you went on the outside. Or, if you happen to have a cocker with extremely hairy ears and is really prone to ear infections, one easy cheat that you can do to try and help clear that up or help keep them clean is to just shave the whole inside of the ear. Navy's not really all that hairy, so I just go ahead and shave the, the area that I shaved on the outside of the ear. So I'll get the camera so you can see. Let's see here. All right, you can kind of see I just shaved down here. Now this is the flap I'm talking about. It goes in right here. You can kind of see, <laughs> maybe, maybe from over here. Now, you can kind of see how it goes out right there, and it goes in right here, and then continues down the ear. If you were to shave all the way down here, he'd have a little flap hanging right there. You can see that? Okay. It's hard to show when you don't shave at all. Huh? Anyway, this is what a cocker ear should look like. Okay? Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and quickly do his other ear so that I can show you his head too. I only got a few seconds, so I'm gonna do it quick. Okay, there's that ear. So, almost. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you the top of his head, which is called a cocker crown. All cockers should have one if you're doing a cocker cut, unless you just like their head short. Um, what you do is you expose their eyebrow to give them a real nice expression. Their eyes are supposed to be very easily seen, very prominent. So you just go over that in a reverse. Just right over the eyebrow there. Okay, now also, you want to create basically a, a crescent moon shape on the top of the head. So I take a reverse right where I left off from the ears and just shave right on up to where I'm leaving the top of the head, the crown. Okay, I'm going to come back and show you how to scissor that. <laughs> 